With riders taking on crazy rides of epic proportions this year, I knew that I had to throw my hat in the ring. So today, we're in my home state of Massachusetts, and I'm currently standing on the tallest mountain on the east side of the state, Mount Wachusett. We're gonna be making our way 100 plus miles in 10,000 plus feet of climbing out to the tallest mountain on the west side of the state called Mount Greylock. The sun's shining, it's a beautiful day, it's leaf peeping season, meaning that fall foliage is in full effect here in New England. We're gonna hit a bunch of cool stops along the way. It's gonna be a perfect day. Let's go. All right, so we're making our way up Mount Wachusett. So a little bit of info. The mountain is all in total 2,000 feet, which is about 610 meters. The Strava KOM is held by a man named the Cookie Monster, not Phil Guyman, but someone that's done it in about 14 minutes. The entire reservation outside the ski resort is apparently 3,000 acres, and there's hiking, biking, not necessarily on the mountainside, but around. There's a lot of great stuff to do in the summer, summertime activities, but in the winter here, it's pretty much all skiing. A lot of people from Boston make their way out to this area because it's only about an hour from the city and there's obviously some pretty good skiing. If you live in a city, there's a mountain an hour away. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're here on top of Wachusett Mountain, looking out east at Boston, the uh, Atlantic Ocean, and then even further, probably Bath, England. When we go north, we're looking at Mount Monadnock, and then when you go dead west, it's out to where we're headed to Mount Greylock, which is the way the crow flies, 66 miles, but our route's gonna take us quite a bit more. We gotta go, it's cold up here, the wind's blowing, it's time. All right, we're in Hubbardston, small town, making our way west. Got uh, this big church behind us here. It's beautiful, sun's coming from the side. We got a lot of work to do. We got to keep it moving. We're only an hour and change in, so we got to keep it going here. So we just came through some back roads in Petersham, and we're making our way to Wendell and the Quabbin Reservoir. The Quabbin gives water to basically everybody in the eastern part of the state, Boston and all that. It's really pretty. We're going to be going past a little bit of that. Just got this beautiful field here. We've got this big tree-lined dirt road up ahead. Ow! I wish you guys could smell this burning oak that's in someone's fireplace right now. That dirt road was so beautiful. All the trees turning colors, everything super pretty. I love this ride so far. It's put a huge smile on my face going through that section back there. All right, if you're planning on doing this ride, definitely don't hit out like on 28s like I did. Go for something a little bigger, a 30 or a 32. Something that's nice. It's gotta be a bigger tire, because otherwise you'll flat. These roads are great, but there is a bit of chop. All right, we're here at the Village Co-op. This is the first rest stop that we're doing about 50-ish plus miles in. This is a great spot. I've been here many, many times over the years to grab snacks out on training rides. We're technically pretty close to the most southern part of the route, and that's also the lowest in elevation because we're down near the Connecticut River. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get some snacks. We gotta throw our masks on, gotta grab some hand sanitizer and all that, but then we're gonna come over here and sit on this beautiful rock benches that they have all out in front of here. If I can tell you guys, there's just a dirt road over there, just gentle traffic. We're really out in the hills of Massachusetts and this little co-op is just a nice little oasis to hang out in and grab snacks. So let's do this. All right, I had to go in there and get a lemon lime seltzer, got a bag of salt and vinegar, potato chips, and a cookie. It's kind of where my, my mind is at right now. I want something sweet, but I also wanted something salty. So check all the boxes there. This is more of my home turf where I used to do a lot of big training rides. Love stopping at this store, but we're well past the halfway point. We're making our way out to Greylock. I even got to take the arm warmers off. <laughs> you guys know it wouldn't be an epic ride if I didn't show off 
one of the covered bridges. This is the Conway Covered Bridge, also the Burkeville Covered Bridge. It was built, as you can tell, sometime in 1869. And regionally, it's a rare example of a multiple king rod bridge using iron tensioning verticals and a modified Howe truss system. And it's apparently one of the only 19th century bridges to survive all the crazy storms and different things that have happened to these covered bridges. If you've been following the other epic ride videos, you know, some of them have been caught on fire. Nasty, crazy hurricanes and storms have wiped them out, but this one still shining today. And I have to say, it looks, it looks pretty sweet. All right, we're here in Ashfield, Massachusetts at the Elmer store. This is an iconic rest stop. You've got to hit it. You can grab a soda, a pastry, everything. Unfortunately, we've been foiled. They're closed right now. So we're going to hit another spot though. There's, there's plenty of places to grab food along this route. So we got to keep it moving though. The day is going. This is the Watson Spruce Corner. A lot of iconic road races come through here, big cycling events, everything comes through this four-way intersection. It's super pretty. The land kind of flows really low. Tons of cows, the foliage, everything right now is just absolutely perfect. I love this road. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you all about foliage for a minute. Now, this area that I call home in the northeastern part of the United States is called New England, and we have absolutely impeccable foliage. People flock from all over the globe to be able to come see a New England fall. Leaf peepers, as they're called, love this area because of all of the different types of species of trees that we have here in this area. We have oak, poplar, maple, we have tons of pine trees, Elms, there's literally everything here. And the reason that these trees get so beautiful is basically when it gets cold and nasty out, the trees start to lose their chlorophyll, which is what keeps the leaves green. Once that starts to happen, they start to die. And then we get all of these beautiful colors. We get bright yellows, the leaves turn gold, purple, red, bright red, and pretty much every hue in between. And it just looks absolutely stunning. This area is super cool because when you go further north, it changes. And when you go further south, it stays too warm. It's this combination of cold evenings and really warm days that kind of make these trees get really bright. And I have to tell you, riding this time of the year is absolutely phenomenal. So if you're ever gonna come out, definitely wanna do a New England fall because the weather and the views are absolutely stunning. How's everyone doing today? Pretty good? You all look great. It's like they've lined up like the like fans on the side of a cyclocross race. You guys are good. All of you are great. All right, I, I gotta finish this ride. The sun's going down. No, really, thank you. It was great to see you all. No, seriously, thank, no, thank you. No, really, my, no, it's, okay, fine, fine, fine. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to have been able to come through. We're going. <laughs> All right, so we just came off 116 into Cheshire. Now here we are, we came onto, I believe the road is called Stuart White. It's a dirt road. There's a beautiful red farm with cows. And here, boom, we're looking at Mount Greylock. That's the tower right there. There's absolutely perfect. There's mountains everywhere. This is an absolute serotonin slam dunk when you come down this road. This just gives you that energy. I'm looking at the finish line. I gotta put on an extra jacket though. The sun's starting to go down. I gotta grab a snack, but we got a lot more to show you guys. Let's do this. So one of the other great things that you ride past when you're on your way to Greylock, we're practically almost 100 miles into this thing, is you come past the Susan B. Anthony birthplace back in 1820, I believe. Susan B. Anthony paved the way for women in the USA throughout much of the 19th century. Anthony was part of the abolitionist movement to help end slavery in the United States and ultimately became our 13th Amendment. After that, Anthony turned her incredible character and determination towards allowing women to vote. And in 1920, the Susan B. Anthony Amendment, which later became the 19th Amendment to the US Constitution, did just that. 
All right, so we just made our way through Adams. We came up here for a small detour to a local orchard that's at the base of Mount Greylock, which we're gonna be going up to the top of to get an apple cider donut. All of the local orchards have their own apple cider donuts. We were inside getting them and the woman told us that she just made them fresh today. I got six. I'm definitely only gonna be eating one or half of one right now. I'm starving, but if you don't know what an apple cider donut is, basically, it's a batter. They make it with buttermilk, cinnamon, nutmeg, and then they top the donut with sugar. And it's, I'm telling you, the smell is coming out of the bag right now. And I'm salivating as I do it. I'm gonna crush this, but we gotta go because the sun, I bet there's only an hour left of daylight right now. Absolutely delicious. You're wondering how to say that. And so they actually make it phonetically. They just put yes keys. That's how you say it. Yes keys. Yes keys orchard. That's how I want everything spelled. All the names when I'm doing the commentary and stuff, I need them spelled like that. <laughs> I've finally made it to the base of Massachusetts' tallest mountain, Mount Greylock. Its peak sits at over 3,500 feet, which is around 1,100 meters. The climb should take about 40 minutes to complete, and there's two different ways to get up the mountain. But today, I'm gonna be climbing it from Notch Road, which is notoriously steeper than the other side. And both ways, though, have beautiful, gorgeous vista views and serious elevation gain. This is a climber's climb, and I'm hurting as I race to get to the top before the sun sets on what has truly been an epic day of riding. So we're at about 1,940 feet elevation. I'm definitely feeling the last 100 plus miles. I've had a couple of bonks since the apple cider donut, but we're here now and it's a sea of yellow. It's really pretty. It's, every tree is bright yellow here. And this climb is super steep on this part that I've done. I can tell you honestly, I've, I've not done this part of the climb before. I've done it from the other side. And it's really, <laughs> it's hard. My legs aren't cramped because I didn't nuke the pace here, but this is a really hard day. And uh, this climb though is beautiful. So it's like, it's like sugar and salt at the same time. Oh man, <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> this absolutely beautiful up here, breathtaking. I don't have words for how nice this is. That's the top right there. That's the big tower that we can see all around. We're two and a half or more miles to the top now. We're fighting daylight, so we gotta get up there, but words cannot describe how pretty this is. Undele, we gotta keep going. So we're almost to the top now, 3,517 feet. Just look out there. I can see the top and it feels good to be done. <laughs> That was a day of riding. We've made it to the top of Mount Greylock. We started in central Massachusetts at Mount Wachusett. It was beautiful and sunny when we started. Now it's freezing and cold. The sun has gone down. It's absolutely breathtaking ride. I hope that you'll come out to New England sometime and enjoy the beautiful foliage that we have here in New England. I had a blast showing this place off. It's cold. I gotta get out of here. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this ride. I had a lot of fun doing it. Whew.